Hey guys, hope you're all well. Hope this video finds you well wherever you are in the world. Um, we're gonna talk about you need to stop listening to people, okay? Because like people always tell you what to do, people always there to tell you, oh, do this, don't do that, don't do but really it's your life. Literally, it is your life. They cannot tell you what to do. It's up to you to take the advice or not. It's not by force that you have to listen to these people and this, you know, do what they say. Because at the end of the day, they don't live your life. You live your life. You decide what you want to do and what you don't want to do. But um, everybody in this world got something to say. Literally, even the stranger down the street. You'll be walking down the street and they'll be like, Oh, you got that? Oh, you know, you should have got this one. You know, they, somebody has something to say every day, every other time. Strangers, family members, everybody got something to say. Now, this is how I do it. It's like people will talk to me and say, oh, you should do this, do that. I'll be like, okay. But really, I don't have to do what you're saying. And most of the times I don't do it. If I don't think it's good advice or if I think it's not something I'm interested in, I don't do it. But some people feel the pressure to do what people tell them to do. You know what I mean? They're thinking, oh, maybe that's better than my idea. But if you think your idea is better, why should you do what the other people told you to do? Even though it's your mom, even though it's your aunt, even though it's your sister, you know, if you think the idea doesn't work with you, you don't have to do it because it's just going to affect you, not them. Okay? They don't know what's best for you. I mean, some people will say, oh, your mom knows what's best for you. you don't. I'm not trying to shade moms because even my kids will be like, you better listen to me, little girl. You better listen to me, little boy. I'm your mother. You better listen. But, you know, always people say, oh, they think it's best for you. Obviously, your parents, you know, it's different, you know, because they're, they're your parents. You have to listen to them. Even though sometimes you don't take the advice, you better listen, and then you can go do what you want, okay? But you have to listen. But other people, mm -mm. no, they don't know what's best for you, boo-boo. You know what's best for you, because you're you. They're not you. Okay, so you need to listen to you and decide what you want to do. Unless you go to them and say, what do you think? What's your advice on this? You know, and then they'll tell you, but you should not think, oh, that person is not me all my life. They know what's best for me. No, they don't know what's best for you. You know what's best for you and you should follow your own instincts. Yes, you might fail, but at least you tried and then you get back on that horse and do something different. That's, that's how it is. You have to try your way. If it fails, then maybe try another way. But don't just cross out your way and think they know best. Or because that person is successful, they know best. No. They might they might have succeeded in their way. You might try their way and you will not succeed. So you have to try your way and see how that goes. And then take other people's advice and go from there. But don't ever think, you know, that somebody else knows you better than you. They don't. You know yourself. And have you ever had those people who are telling you like, you know, they want you to change? It's like, they'll be like, oh, you know, why do you always act like that? Maybe you should, you know, change your ways and do this. Mm, really? Yeah, because I've known you for this long. You know, I know you better than you know yourself. You know that. I know you. I know you. You should not do that. No. Okay. Those are the people that you need to stay away from. Okay. It's like having 10 friends. None of those, they love you for who you are. And then you get that one person that always says, oh, you should change because your behavior is this, because you embarrass us, because, honey, if I embarrass you, why are you my friend? Why are we hanging out? Maybe you should just defriend me. It's cool, I'll love you from afar. Just don't mess with my vibe. You know what I mean? Because you think I should change, you change. Maybe you're the one who needs to change, you know? So sometimes those people who want you to change, they're actually jealous. It's like, like back in like if you're in school and you have like all these people who like you and that one person your friend is like kind of they're jealous basically and they're acting like they're telling you oh change this change that they're only saying that because they're jealous and other people like you and they're jealous because you have a whole lot of people who like you so they sometimes they just want you to themselves and they don't want you to be friends with the other people if it was me i would probably have to have a talk with you and if you don't want to change love you from a distance but for you to tell me to change my ways because you feel a certain way because i've got a lot more friends than you that's just ridiculous that's just pure 
jealousy okay and you should not listen to such people you should not change unless you want to change people should not make you change even it's like my sister right my sister is very how do i say it anyway she says herself she's bougie but my sister is very she's very out there she's very if she doesn't like you you will know about it if she's not feeling you you will know about it she will not miss hide her feeling none of that and sometimes me and my family always tell her to change you need to change you can't be acting like and she always says this is me i'm not going to change and sometimes yes you know we have to accept her for her for who she is she's a grown woman right now who's going to change at the age of 30 something you know she's a grown woman and she you know that's how she is and we actually have to accept her for who she is it's just sometimes you know she's learned now how to kind of hold her tongue sometimes and really back and kinda, we kind of we have learned to just accept her for who she is and we know you know the type of situations where we shouldn't put her kind of thing if she doesn't like somebody we will not invite her if she doesn't like somebody she won't turn up either so that kind of thing it's like nobody should tell you to change yourself you are you you are unique you they want you to be like everybody else who wants to be like everybody else everybody is unique in their own way so you should not change yourself because somebody said oh you're not right or you act this way or that no also um maybe this is my final or not is um so you know when um like if you dating someone if you get married to someone you know that kind of thing and you have in-laws and you know friends of the family or the partner who don't like you <sighs> the in-laws might not like you or the friends of a friend might not like you who cares who cares if you don't like me i've got i've, I've gone into this mentality and i've grown this um i've got this understanding that if someone doesn't like me it is okay it's literally okay i always tell this to my sister if you don't like me it is okay you do not add anything to my life you do not take anything from my life you do not uh, contribute to my life so for me to care if you like me or not it's ridiculous okay you don't pay for my bills you don't look after my kids you don't feed me you don't do nothing for me not everybody has to like everybody if your in-laws don't like you they don't like you it is okay keep it moving not all your in-laws are going to like you yeah it doesn't necessarily have to affect your relationship with your partner i mean it depends who it is if it's a parent then <laughs> it depends how big an issue is if it's a parent it might be tricky depending on the partner and stuff like that but other than that we really should not care about what people think of us how we run our household how we take care of our kids because it's not your life it's my life so really you should not care about what people say just care about what you think is best for you take care of you take care of your family take care of your kids live a happy life okay when you meet the people though be nice be nice people don't be rude to your in-laws it's not okay. cute especially the parents be nice okay the rest eh they can but anyway guys hope you enjoyed this video hope you got some something out of it i hope you it gave you some motivation in whatever situation you're in and remember if you like the video press the like button if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you can get all the notifications and we shall see you later guys bye